everyone. Hi. Hello, beautiful people. Okay, so I know the lighting in here is not flattering, but that's okay because I want to show you um, how I cover up blemishes because I do have very acne prone skin, but my skin is really breaking up right, uh, breaking out right now. And actually I just talked to my mom this morning and her skin is breaking out and we think it's something that the massage therapist used, um, some kind of oil or something. So we're going to talk to her about changing that because I had a, a pretty big pimple right here and it's going away, but I guess because there's no tissue, it's basically just skin on bone it swelled up like he, to here. And then now I'm having the same thing happen on my forehead. I have a big, it's not even that big of a pimple, but it's like, it just, it's like puffy around here. And then of course, dark right there. Um, and then I have little blemishes here that I get uh, kind of hormonally and, and, um, and all that. And so I'm just going to show you how I, how I cover up because <laughs> I have had acne for like 20 years now. The first step is definitely my foundation primer. That is huge because it will help to smooth the surface of skin. So it's actually going to help fill in bigger pores, fine lines and wrinkles. It reduces redness. You can even wear this. It gives your skin like a velvety finish. So you can actually use the foundation primer even if you don't wear foundation. Or you can use it under anything from powders to our CC cream, which is basically like a tinted moisturizer, um, to our, our liquid foundations, cream to powder foundations. You can wear it under anything. And so that will help to kind of tone down some redness as well. So it smooths out the texture. It tones out the redness. It makes your foundation go on much smoother and blend in better and it makes it last longer. And then I do my concealer. So I'm using light beige. So if it helps you to kind of get an idea of what um, shade you might be, but of course, if I'm your consultant, I can help you or your beauty consultant can definitely help you. So reach out to her. Um, and then I'm actually just gonna go ahead. I, when I'm doing my makeup, I do go ahead and do my concealer under my eyes. And then you, I use our cream brush. I find that I'm able to blend it in much better. It just kind of airbrushes it into the skin. Um, and it's also nice because honestly, this one hurts. So this actually makes it better because I'm not pushing with my fingertip onto my skin. All right, so I don't know if you can tell. The lighting in here is, is terrible and my ring light is broken. It will only do one shade and one color. And it's rainy outside. So it's kind of dark. So I don't have a lot of natural light either. So sorry, I feel like I know I look really blue. <laughs> I don't know if I can fix that or not. Um, but at least you can see. All right. So uh, the concealer is great. You can actually use this as like a primer. For your eyeshadow, it does help your eyeshadow last longer. It gives it something to hold on to, and it gets rid of any discoloration on your eyelids. And then I can, I tend to be a little bit red on the sides of my nose too. So I just do, they actually call this the triangle of youth right here. Um, so I just do a little bit in this whole area where I get a little bit red and I don't want to be red. And for some reason right now, I don't always need to do it there, but today I do. And so I'm just blending this in and a little bit of concealer goes a long way. You don't need a lot. And it's basically just a, like a condensed, highly pigmented foundation. So it has a different texture than foundation. And it also has a more dense pigmentation to it. So that's why you get so much coverage with just a little bit. And then I'm going to cover up. And I probably put more than I needed to here. You really don't need a whole lot. But then what I'll do is I'll kind of carry and cover up any other areas that have just a little bit of redness, maybe from previous blemishes that I've had. And if you have someone who doesn't really wear much foundation, but they have areas that they'd like to cover, they can match their concealer to their skin tone and just use a little bit of concealer where they need to. 
They do not have to have foundation to cover it up. This is just how I apply it for the best, most blended look and coverage. Okay, so I do that. Then I use my liquid foundation brush. I'm using our TimeWise Matte because I do like that matte finish. This helps to absorb oil since I have such oily skin. And I'm using the Beige 210. And I just kind of put that around like war paint at first to kind of place it around. And I'm just patting it into the skin at first. And it's not unusual when you match your foundation. When you first put it on, it can make you look a little bit washed out. It shouldn't be too light. It should match your skin tone, whether you are more olive or more pink or neutral. Um, but when you first put it on, it's like putting a white primer, a white paint onto a canvas. It's literally creating a blank slate. So you're getting rid of shadow and contour and having, you know, your natural like rosy cheeks and all of that. And so that's why we do the foundation to get a really good clean slate, clear white canvas, even though it's not like white, white, unless you're super ivory. Um, because then you're going back and you're applying your makeup, which brings the life back to your face. So I really just kind of pat it into my skin until it's almost dry. And then I use this brush. I start going in circular motions to give it that airbrushed look. And I go all the way up to my hairline because you don't want to see where your foundation starts or stops. So you're going to go all the way up to your hairline. Okay. So hopefully you can see, and you really just can keep blending it in until you get that complete coverage, very natural looking. And you can, and with this foundation, you can absolutely control how much coverage you can do just a little bit. A little bit does go a long way. I'm going to be doing uh, more of a glamour makeup look for tonight. So I did want to go ahead and have a full coverage, but you can take just a little bit and get a good amount of just, of um, just evening out your skin tone without a whole lot of product. So you get to decide. And once it dries, if you have areas that you want a little bit more coverage, you can actually layer over it or you can go back and touch up again. If you're having a, like, if you have a real problem area or a big pimple that you're trying to cover, sometimes um, after I'm done with this, I, I'll, I'll go back over it with just the teeny tiniest bit of concealer. But today I don't think I need to do that. I think I'm pretty well set. So I hope that gave you just a couple of pointers. Feel free to comment with any um, questions or feedback. I look forward to hearing from you and let us know if there are other questions that you have that you'd like for me to come on and talk about and, and answer questions, do give tutorials, whatever the case may be. All right, y'all have an amazing